Yo, so I heard of him, like, this dude been locked up, like, for dumb long, like, all my adulthood life then, then, like, he been locked up for, like, probably, like, 10 years, like, and I've been waiting to hear, like, a, like, a new song from him for dumb long, because when I heard about him, he was already booked, like, he was already stored away, like, they got him, or whatever, and, like, his name been ringing since, and he's in jail, and it's been, like, 10 years, like, that's crazy. The United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York and the special agent in charge of the New York Field Office of the United States Secret Service announced the unsealing of a superseding indictment charging Dujon McBean, a.k.a. Jeezy Mullet, Carl Smith, a.k.a. Hockavell, and Chelsea Harris, a.k.a. Ms. Chin, with murder for hire conspiracy, resulting in personal injury and death, stalking, resulting in life-threatening bodily injury and death, and conspiracy to destroy records. These charges relate to Jeezy Mullet, Smith, and Harris's roles in attempting to murder an individual in December 2023, which resulted in- Yo, who's making these story? Like, who is this making a story? Like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all making them sound crazy. Like, who's making a story? That's one. That sound like a news reporter for real. The shooting death of Clarissa Burgess on December 26, 2023. Jeezy Mula is already serving a federal sentence, while Smith and Harris were arrested previously and are detained pending trial. Our Brooklyn family is searching for answers after learning their 28-year-old niece is no longer here. Now, she died just before midnight on Tuesday, and now her family is wishing for a holiday miracle. Now, right now, we're in Fort Greene, where Clarissa Burgos lived with her family. They received a call that changed their lives forever Tuesday night. Now, according to the NYPD, someone shot at a black Honda sedan near Liberty Avenue in Queens. Those bullets hit... Yo, Queens has, has been turned. Like, Queens been turned the past couple of years. I ain't gonna lie. They changing. They changing the, the neighborhood over there. They not trying to have that shit gentrified. Burgos in the head, along with a 39-year-old man who was driving. Although he was shot in the stomach multiple times, he drove himself and Burgos to the nearest precinct for help. Now, first responders took him to Jamaica Hospital, and he's in stable condition. As for Burgos, she died on the scene. We're not sure what their relationship That's was to crazy. each other. Now, we spoke with an aunt of Burgos who didn't want to be on camera. She says her niece had a great smile, and she raised her to be a good person since she was a little girl. Now, she told us she's still shocked, and she's sad about what happened. Now, she continued to remind us that these things happen in life, and her family is doing their best during this difficult time. Now, according to the NYPD, they don't have a description of the person who could be responsible, and this investigation is ongoing. As for the family, they ask us to respect their privacy at this time. So, in December 2023, Jeezy Mula was detained at Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York, MDC Brooklyn, awaiting sentencing for directing a separate gang-related shooting in January 2017. We did a story about that, so if you didn't watch it, go check it out. Anyway, while in federal custody, Jeezy Mula feuded over social media with another gang member, China Man. Jeezy Mula then used a contraband cell phone from inside MD. I don't think I ever heard of the other person, China Man. I don't think I ever heard of him. C. Brooklyn to conspire with Smith and Harris, who were at liberty in the community, to lure China Man to various nightclubs in New York City, where Jeezy Mula had arranged for gunmen to kill China. Wait, what? Wait, he's in, he's in jail. What are you talking about? Like, how can he, like, he was doing that from jail? Nah, like, I feel like I was just saying that stuff. Like, how he did that? China Man. If you don't know who China Man is, he has done time for scamming and is alleged to be one of New York's biggest scammers. See for yourself. Put that bullshit money away. I'm parking all you niggas. Come outside tonight. Spin everything that you have in your pocket. I'm spinning everything I have in my pocket. Okay. Let's go right now. <laughs> True, true. This is why they were trying to line you. What are you doing? You show, you showing those packs. Then wonder why people trying to line him up. Like what? It's alleged that Jeezy Mula paid Smith and Harris through intermediaries for their roles in this conspiracy. What? People commenting on the situation were surprised to see Smith Bro, charged with murder, James as Bond. they thought that he doesn't look like a shooter. As for Harris or Ms. Chin, here's a video of her from 2015. Okay. Let me make something clear. You is not Jamaican if you know somebody, mother, father, uncle, sister, ex-husband, daughter, wife, 
that used to live in a Jamaican. You're not that don't qualify you as no Jamaican. You is not Jamaican. In my book, you only get qualified if you're a Jamaican. You did go to school there. You did live there. Mm -hmm. That is it. You see, Mina, me did live there for all of my life until fourth grade. That is when my parents said, come, come up a foreign and come live. And that is when me did pick up the full full American accent. I'm going to lose this one. I visited Jamaica for two weeks and four days. And that was the first time in five years I've been back there. Anyways, like when Jamaica independence, they're my friend too, you know. I should have chat, but... Happy Independence Day. Yes, wake up to my Jamaican nap. The girl comes to Kingston. Why I'm in love for I'm so So after that, I'm going to text her back and I say, Where are the Kingston in there from? Mm -hmm. Because I'm down here. I'm going to go visit you with them. Mm -hmm. Come tell me now. The girl goes to Spanish town. But you saw me, I tried to say, Who's not Jamaica? Anyway, the plot to kill China Man. What did that have to do with anything? Like, what did that video have to do with anything? resulted in two shootings. First, on December 24, 2023, Jeezy Mula and his co-conspirators lured China Man to a nightclub in Queens, New York. Outside the club, gunmen shot and struck China Man's car multiple times, but missed China Man. Second, a day after Christmas, on December 20... Wait, did they say what they were beefing for? Like, what are they beefing for again? Like, what's the issue? 6th, 2023, Jeezy Mula and his co-conspirators tried again to kill China Man, this time luring him to a different nightclub in Queens. That night, the rival was sitting with Clarissa Burgess, his girlfriend, in a black Honda sedan parked near 127th Street and Liberty Avenue in Richmond Hill just before midnight. Don't know how long her and China Man had been together, however, we do know that Clarissa had connections to the Stones, Casanova and those guys. What? Check it out for yourself. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Life. Wait, so she was affiliated or something? So China Man girl or the girl he was with was affiliated with Casanova or the Stones, whatever. Yo, what? Well, I had to embarrass the rapper in the spot, you hear me? I fuck with yeah. DC, man. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Asian gang. Shout out to everybody in here. If I don't know y'all, I appreciate y'all. Y'all part of me. Listen, I got my girl with me. I can't play around. Y'all niggas play for me. I see y'all niggas with the light skin jump. I love the light skin. Look at her. Y'all niggas gotta get you the light skin. I don't know if it's dark skin or light skin. Boston girls don't kill me. I'm just saying, I like a little light skin. Have some fun. If y'all score, send me the screenshot. Send me the screenshot, nigga. I'm gonna listen to y'all at night. Yo, what are you talking about? I love them. They so cute. I'm getting open up for us tonight. It's going down. So here it is, here and China Man are into the car and so she's low free. At Jeezy Mula's direction from within MDC Brooklyn, three hooded gunmen fired on China Man's car when it was parked outside the club. The bullet struck China Man multiple times, but China Man survived. Despite being hit at least six times, he made it to a local precinct for help. The bullets also struck and killed China Man's girlfriend, Clarissa Burgess, in the head, who was seated in China Man's car. Larissa Burgess was 28 years old and left behind a son that she loved dearly. She was not involved in any beef, but was a victim of circumstance. Yo, I've seen this picture before. No way. What? Wow, that's crazy. As for China Man, Code 33 shared a video which allegedly shows China Man getting ran out of a house in the feds. Allegedly, he was for stabbed. What? Like, what are they doing this to him? New security camera video of the moment three people opened fire on a car, killing a 28-year-old woman and wounding the 39-year-old driver multiple times. This happened just before midnight last night in Richmond Hill, Queens. Police believe that driver was the intended target. The woman, just collateral damage. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman. Caught on surveillance video, three people shooting at a parked car in Richmond Hill, Queens, leaving its passenger, 28-year-old Clarissa Burgos, a mother from Brooklyn, dead. Police now looking for the shooters. I'm so sorry for what happened to this young lady. It happened outside a club on the corner of 127th Street and Liberty Avenue. The driver, a 39-year-old man, was shot multiple times in the chest. Clarissa Burgos was shot in the head. Police say after they were shot, the driver drove two and a half miles, 
all the way to the 103rd Precinct Station House and told officers they needed help. That's when Ms. Burgos was pronounced dead. It is scary. It's very scary because my husband is here in the evening. My sister-in-law is here in the evening. Sometimes I'm here in the evening. It is scary. Surveillance video shows the black Honda double parked outside the Escape nightclub around 11.45 p.m. Two men approached the car from across the street and started firing, and a third person joins in. The shooters run away, and the car quickly zooms off. Fariza Haresh lives nearby and says this shooting doesn't surprise her. You know, this is why, you know, I stay away from these kind of clubs around here because it's, it's scary. There's a lot of violence going on. Other neighbors agree that what happened is not entirely shocking. None of this never happened in, in the neighborhood, but it's getting bad. The driver is expected to be okay. Police say he has at least 29 prior arrests and preliminarily believe that he was the intended target and not the young woman who died. Jeezy Moolin, 29, Smith, 26, and Harris, 23, are charged with one count of murder for hire conspiracy, resulting in personal injury and death, which carries a mandatory minimum term of life in prison or death, stalking resulting in life-threatening bodily injury and death, which carries a maximum term of life in prison, and conspiracy to destroy records, which carries a maximum term of five years in prison. Yo, wait, am I confused? Where did the other charges come from? Wait, when did he do all the other stuff? Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. When did he get the chance to do this? And how do y'all know? What are y'all talking about? Do y'all believe this story is true? Can somebody confirm? What? What's going on? What's, what's going on in Brooklyn? Like, nah.